Hey everyone! So welcome back to today's uh, weekly vlog. So it's Sunday and it's time for another one. So um, I've kind of decided that throughout the weekly vlogs, I will talk about what happened throughout the week and some of the new things I've tasted, tried or you know sort of went for review. So I'm gonna start off with this week's um, and the first thing I'm gonna talk about is actually lunch just now. So I just went to Old Airport Road for lunch with my friend and it was a very rainy drizzly day as it has been for the past week because it is SG winter. So it's really strange but yeah we've been having 24, 25 degrees uh, temperature lately and it's great. Uh, make, really makes you feel like you're in a Christmas mood but it also puts a dampener haha <laughs> literally on things when you're trying to get around um, but yeah Old Airport Road was still as good we got a bunch of stuff um, and I tried a really good Chi Chong Fan which is like rice flour made fresh um, along with my favorite wonton mee and um, uh, Nonya Chendo as well as a very long queue Cha Kui Tiao which is not the Lao Fu Zi one which, but the Tong Zi one so yeah overall a pretty nice way to spend Sunday eating on to what I did in the past week so on Monday I actually went to check out the gardens uh, by the bay Christmas Wonderland with a friend who was visiting from overseas and it was really cool so I would recommend for everybody to go and check it out yourself you can buy tickets online for cheaper because if you buy on the spot there it's $10 if I'm not wrong or more and then on Thursday I actually went to check out Cafe Chichetti essentially Cafe Chichetti is a new concept by the Chichetti family um, that expanded from their original Kandaha uh, Chichetti restaurant to Bar Chichetti at um, the CBD area and now Cafe Chichetti and South Beach is a more coastal Italian concept which was a rebranding of Finns, which is the Australian brunch place before. So it's really good uh, in terms of the food and my favourite was actually the Brussels sprouts, which was very surprising um, along with the pesto pasta. Definitely go check it out if you are in the area. Um, and then on Friday, I went to Cuba Libre's party. Hi everyone, so I'm here at Cuba Libre and they are celebrating their 13th anniversary. So tonight they are having a Havana night party. So happy birthday to Cuba Libre for surviving 13 years in Singapore, which is no mean feat. So we actually um, sat there and had some food and drinks and saw some performance put up by the team. If you're thinking of spending a Friday or Saturday night out and wondering where to go, be sure to go check out Cuba Libre as well because I do think props to them for surviving for so long here in Singapore especially at the Clarkey area it's not easy um, and we should definitely support I actually tried out some crazy invention from Japan but okay it's naturally not that crazy this thing called a print toss camera it allows you to print photos from your phone without any electricity, bluetooth or anything whatsoever all you need is your phone and then you just put it on top of this camera um, and you press the shutter to to really basically create some sort of like an exposure onto the film that is underneath here and then what happens after that is you roll out the film and there you have it you get some photos printed from your phone so this is an example of Mickey um, and it's pretty cool but I do think that there's some trial and error because the first few times when I tried it, it was too dark and I figured it had something to do with the lighting around the area and also I'm not sure about the camera's shutter speed but all in all, it's a pretty cool gift for under 40 bucks if you're looking for a present or to uh, play around with some of the old Instax films that you might have lying around. Alright, so that's it for my weekly vlog. I hope um, you enjoyed it and if you do, please remember to like, subscribe and share. Um, and I'll see you next week. Remember to stay dry and cozy. Bye!